Well, good day and welcome to Team Jesus Preachers Ministries here on YouTube. My name is Adam LaCroix and I want to let you guys know what our ministry is about here at Team Jesus Preachers. We are born again Christians and we are followers of Jesus Christ and we have a great burden for evangelism. Uh, as the Word of God says, as Jesus said himself, it's written in Mark chapter 16 verse 15, he said, go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. In conjunction with that, we read in Matthew chapter 28, verse 18, Jesus said that all authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth and go and make disciples of all nations, teaching them whatsoever I've commanded you and I'll be with you to the end of the age. So we here believe in walking with Jesus Christ having a personal relationship with the Lord, uh, time in God's word, studying, as the Bible says in 2 Timothy 2, verse 15, to study, to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needs not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth, and to spend time in prayer because Jesus also said in John chapter 4 that those who worship God must worship him in spirit and in truth. So we see that that worshiping God in spirit to pray without ceasing, as Paul says. So we are born again Christians that believe in seeking the Lord with all our hearts and doing this outreach work that Jesus said for us to do to go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Paul said in 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 2, he said, do the work of an evangelist. Make full proof of your ministry. Endure afflictions. Be instant in season and out of season. Reprove, rebuke, and exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. So we uh, believe in taking the relationship that we have with God to the to the outward world. And uh, street evangelism, as you can see, maybe from some of our videos, is kind of the main method that we use. As Jesus said. Uh, to go into all the world and preach the gospel. But in conjunction with that, we believe in many different types of missions work. Um, I was personally in the jail ministry for about eight years. And uh, so we, we really strongly believe in the jail ministry. I've uh, done a crusade over in Africa, Kenya, Africa. So we really believe in uh, going to the, the places that really need um, really need uh, the, 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 us giving to them because they're in maybe a third world country in a state of poverty. And of course, they always need the gospel. So wherever we go, we're bringing the gospel of Jesus Christ. But we believe in these missions works of giving to the poor, of helping the needy. Just every uh, way that the Bible describes that we need to help our neighbor and to do unto others as we would have them do unto us. So we are very uh, focused on outward missions and evangelism here. Um, I personally uh, grew up in a Christian household. I had a rough past, uh, drugs and alcohol, partying and sexual immorality. And God took me through a great, uh, a great journey of ups and downs. And uh, at one point in time, I actually had heart failure at age uh, 30. And in that place where I was dying... Uh, God met me with his grace and through that chastisement, he, uh, he really brought me to the place of holiness uh, where I really repented of my sins and turned from my evil ways once and for all. And that's what I believe personally is what this generation and even the modern day uh, American church, especially the American church, uh, is missing is a really a call of repentance uh, what we see a lot of is, is a, an emphasis on grace, which rightfully so. Grace is, is the number one thing in, in, in the gospel of Jesus Christ. But Jesus said in Luke 24, verse 47, he said, uh, he said that repentance and remission of sins should be preached in my names to all, preached in my name to all nations. So what I was really missing as a young man who was, backslidden for the majority of my uh, early adult life was a strong repentance message 
Uh, and so one of the things that I just want to share with you right now is that what we do here at Team Jesus Preachers is a specific calling. It's a John the Baptist calling. John the Baptist preached, repent, for the kingdom of God is at hand. And when you read in the book of Malachi chapter 4, it talks about in the end times, and it says that, that God would send forth the spirit of Elijah, and he would turn the hearts of the fathers back to the sons, the hearts of the sons back to the father, fathers, uh, in that before the coming of the great and terrible day of the Lord, lest I strike the lamb with a curse. So we are walking in that same spirit of Elijah that came through John the Baptist, that came through the prophets who warned the people to prepare the way of the Lord to repent and make his way straight before, uh, make the way straight before the face of the Lord. So uh, this is a specific calling that God has commissioned me to and called me to about nine years ago in 2012. And so uh, I have a, a, a really a burden to preach the word of God um, and also to raise up other evangelists, to raise up other men and women of God who are also called to really make a difference and an impact in a dying world and to preach the, the, the balanced gospel of grace and truth, as the Bible says. And Romans eleven twenty two says that consider therefore the goodness and the severity of God. And so we want to really bring that perfect balance of grace and truth, goodness and severity. And uh, because without, uh, without that repentance message, like I said, that I didn't have as a young adult, um, the grace of God really is in vain. So we here at Team Jesus Preachers see the balance in what the scriptures tell us about the gospel of Jesus Christ. And we here want to lift up God's word, as the Bible says in Psalms chapter 138, verse 2, that I have exalted thy word above thy name. And in Isaiah 55, verse 11, it says that the word of God never returns void, but always accomplishes the purpose for which God has sent it forth to accomplish, and it will prosper in the theme for which God has sent it. And in 1 Peter chapter 1, it says that we are born again, by the word of God, which lives and abides forever. So we uh, really have a, a, a love uh, for the word of God and for the scriptures. Jeremiah said, your words were found and I ate them. <clears throat> your words were to me the joy and rejoicing of my heart. For I am called by your name, O Lord God of hosts. In the beginning was the word and the word was God and the word was with God. He was in the beginning with God, and the Word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld His glory as the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Jesus is that Word of God. Amen. So we want you to know that that is our mission, is to lift up the Word of God and <clears throat> to be doers of the Word, as James 1 verse 22 says, be a doer of the Word, not a hearer only deceiving your own selves. So we uh, are here to help equip the body to be doers of the word and to know the word and to be uh, one with the word uh, because uh, all flesh is grass and the glory of man is as the flower of the grass. The grass withers and the flower fades away, but the word of God endures forever. This is the word by which the gospel was preached unto you, uh, Isaiah said and Peter quoted in the New Testament. So that word of God is what goes on forever our flesh and our body and everything we have is temporary, but the Bible says we do not look to the things which are seen, but the things which are unseen, because the things which are seen are temporary, but the things which are unseen are eternal. So we want to lift up this word of God, Jesus Christ, because that's what's eternal. That's what's going to go on forever. Jesus said that heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will never pass away. They will never die. And of course, we know Jesus said that whoever believes in me will never die. Whoever lives and believes in me, though he die, he shall live because that word of God lives forever. So amen. I'm excited about this everlasting life that is found in Jesus. And uh, we want to we present that to the world and to you. And if you are called to this ministry and you want to reach out to us here at Team Jesus Preachers, you can email me at teamjesuspreachers at yahoo.com. Uh, we are in the Fort Myers, Florida area, and 
We also have a vision to do conferences, and we have a conference coming up here January 2022, and uh, many other conferences hopefully God will allow us to do, and also for, uh, for the local home body here in Fort Myers, uh, we believe that God is going to plant a church here in, in time, and God is uh, gathering together some, some like-minded brothers and sisters here in the Fort Myers, Lee County area. And uh, if God has led you to this area or is, is leading you to this area, I would encourage you to reach out to me again at teamjesuspreachers at yahoo.com. We would love to help equip you and help disciple you and, and see you get involved and be a part of this ministry here. We believe that it is a, a wonderful ministry, a last day's ministry. And God is doing amazing things in these last days. He's raising up an army. Jesus said that uh, the harvest is plentiful, but the labors are few. Pray the Lord of the harvest, raise up labors to send out into his harvest. And so we are seeing that, and we, we know that God has raised us up for this, such a time as this. And so if, if you're looking to band together and, and you're looking for someone to, to go, come alongside and, and work with in, in this ministry and learn from, uh, I'm here and I want to help you and uh, learn from you too because we all have gifts. We all have talents. We fit together, jointly fit together by which every joint supplies, it says, that for the growth of the body, for the edifying of itself and love, Jesus Christ being the head for which all the nourishment comes down. So we believe in that body of Christ working together and that we have different gifts and talents. So amen. That's a little bit I just wanted to share from my heart and from the word of God with you about this ministry so be encouraged and be edified and be spurred on because uh, the time is short and we have to redeem the time as the Bible says because the days are evil. So I want to encourage you not to wait, not to tarry, but to pick up your cross and follow Jesus. Deny yourself, as Jesus said, because whoever does not deny himself and carry his cross is not worthy of me, Jesus says. So God bless you. Appreciate you chiming in. Please uh, reach out to me and uh, I hope these videos and I hope our ministry is a help to you. We are encouraged uh, in the Holy Spirit. God bless you today. Amen.